BBC News. The United Nations says the shocking deaths of 27 people who drowned in the English Channel on Wednesday were avoidable. The UN Refugee Agency warned that closing off legal routes to asylum seekers was leading to more dangerous attempts to reach safe countries. A Libyan military court in Misrata has issued a death sentence in absentia against the eastern-based commander, General Khalifa Haftar, over the deadly bombing of the city's Air Force College two years ago. He's due to stand in next month's presidential election. A study in Bangladesh has found that the effectiveness of all widely used antibiotics has dropped by more than 50%. The findings say the medicines have become overused because of a false belief that they can kill the COVID-19 virus. Brazil's vice president says the government will act to disperse hundreds of illegal gold miners who've moored their rafts across the Madeira River in the northern state of Amazonas. They're searching for gold from the rafts, joined in huge lines that almost span the river. A major report into human rights abuses in the Gambia, committed under the former president, Yahya Jami, has been presented to his successor, Adama Barrow. The report, to be made public next month, will include evidence of the killing of West African migrants, sexual violence and attacks on journalists. Reports from Russia say 52 people are now known to have died in a Siberian coal mine where a fire broke out, trapping dozens underground. Some of the victims were rescuers. A ceremony has been taking place in Egypt to mark the opening to the public of the 3,000-year-old Avenue of Sphinxes in Luxor. It's taken decades to excavate the three-kilometre-long ancient walkway, connecting the city's two greatest temples. BBC News.